Hello everyone, Mitch here from Joe's Base Camp in Brookvale. Hope everyone's doing well, keeping safe. Today is a base camp daily coming for you. We're gonna have a good old sweat sesh. Really short, really sharp. I know some of us are still very busy at the moment. Today's whole workout is only gonna be eight minutes. So I can guarantee you, no matter how busy your day is, you have eight minutes to come and smash this out with me. I'm gonna work through the whole thing with you and we're gonna have a bit of a sweat and work through a bit of a mix of a kind of strength and conditioning sort of little circuit. We are doing this as a zoo session. That's zoo spelt Z-U-U, is an awesome style of, of, of training. So a big credit to the guys over at World Zoo. We do encourage you to go and check them out because they have some really good content as well. So those guys, credit to them for these um, exercises. And then I've molded it into my own little circuit. Zoo is all about primal movements. It's about moving the body in the way it was supposed to be naturally, um, naturally moved through a variety of exercises that combine strength and conditioning together into a short little circuit. So it's gonna be a big sweat sesh. You'll be dripping with sweat, your muscles will be burning, but that's exactly what we're after, even within just our eight minutes. The way it will roll through, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, that is our classic Tabata timer, four rounds through of each exercise. So that's two minutes per exercise, of course. We're gonna work through um, kick sits, number one, a push to gorilla, number two, a uh, frog squat for number three, and then finishing off with our Hindu push-ups on number four. These exercises, some of them are a bit more in the advanced section, so keep that in mind. If those of you who are after a bit of a challenge, this is your one to smash it out. If you do need some variations, of course, so I will offer them to you throughout the session. Cool, I'll run you through the movements, then we'll get into it. Number one is our kick sits. So with these, we wanna try and have a space of about a meter or so. So just kind of a meter around you. We start in our 90 hold, shoulders over the wrists, knees underneath the hips, and we kick one leg through, the back leg finishes high and the other leg is straight. Hands come out and we change sides. So it's just that rotation, kicking through. We wanna try and make sure we keep the hands flat and we get our butt to the floor every time. With speed, that's what we're aiming for. Number two is our push to gorilla. This is probably one of the more unique ones. Really, really tough exercise. We're gonna lie flat like we're doing a burpee. Breathe out, push, hands flat. We finish into a low squat. Jumping up, back down. If you need to, you can lift the hands off the floor, which will help mobility wise. Number three, frog squats. Feet under the hips, sit down low, force the knees out, hands together, bum up. Bum down. Nice and simple, burns out the legs. Sitting as low as you can into every rep. Number four, diving push-ups, Hindu push-ups, any variation of calling that is fine. Feet wide, shoulders um, underneath the hips. Drive down, breathe out, return to the top. If we need to make it easier, we can go feet wider to make it harder, feet closer together. We can also make it easier by doing a more shallow range. So there's our four movements. 20 on, 10 off, four times through. I'm gonna get a towel, if that's the one thing you will definitely need because we will get a bit of a sweat on through this. Cool? So, I got my timer here. 10 seconds. I'll get this out of the way for now. Kick sits, four rounds through. I wanna see nice, fast movement as we work through these. Here we go, round one. So remember, hands flat. We get our butt to the floor. Just to slow it down for those of you who might be doing this for your first time. Knee up, legs straight, working side to side. Take a rest. Only short breather, shake out the arms. Same where we are, ready to go. Three more of this exercise, and let's go. So this one is really good for that rotational core strength and our shoulder stability, and it will get the heart rate up really quick as well. Round two, it's done there. Just gonna sit back onto my heels so I can give my shoulders a break. Heart rate's up already. Round three, let's go. You may find mobility-wise, it's easier if you lift the other hand up. 
That is fine, but try where you can to keep both flat. So either try to build up over a number of weeks or just between your sessions, within the same session, maybe start flat, open wide as you need to. Good to try and work through that full range. Last one. That breathing rate is up nice and high now. Shoulders are burning. We're getting that core work in. Done. Staying down. Push to gorilla. Burpee, as in, it's kind of the bottom of a burpee, sorry. So chest right down, feet wide. So lie flat, breathe out, jump the feet wide. Back to the floor and up. Again, mobility wise, you may find it easier to take the hands off, but we wanna try and just work straight up and down. Lie down, relax, take the pressure off the shoulders. Big breaths in our rest break. An intense set, here we go. Number two. Again, we're trying to work through a full range. So try and get the feet as high as you can next to the hands. So that movement is like the bottom of a burpee, because of course, if you were to just stand up, you'd be there. So it's an exercise you might do without realizing a bit. But when we just do them back to back, it is quite challenging. Whew. Shoulders are burning. Breathing rate's getting up. Doing well, one more. Then we're halfway. So you can see, really short and sweet. Still does the job. Let's go, set number eight. And nice and quick. Jump those feet right up. Full chest to the ground. Really fast movement. Full range. Shuttles to get a break after this. Run our feet. Frog squats. So the arms are gonna get a breather now. All in the legs. Sitting low, knees out, driving up and down. Let's just go a controlled tempo. If we go too fast, we'll burn out in set one. And we are still targeting a strength focus, so we wanna maintain that control. Good, one down. Shut the legs out, three more. It's probably the hardest one, I reckon. Here we go, round two. Again, really push the knees out with the elbows and try to sit as low as you can. So in the bottom position should be your low sit squat. Try to get the bum as high as you can. Good job, two more. One more exercise after this. That one's all shoulders and triceps. Doing awesome, let's go again. So hands together, just find that rhythm, find the pace, keep the knees out. Breathe out when we stand up, breathe in on the way down. Woo, shake out, straight back down. Good job, one more. Starting for that lactic build up in the leg, so it gives that really tight, burning feeling. Last one here, 20 seconds, no standing up. Constant pace. Doing well. Over halfway. Keep smashing them out. Push through that burn in the legs. Oh, there we go. Good job. One more. Remember, hand shoulder width, feet wide. Low movement down to the floor. Push up. Let's go. Feet wide. Drive the bum, sink down, hips up, repeat. 
Easier variation, shorter range. Push away as far as you can. Push to the top, reset. We'll try a little bit harder this time. Can remember, bring my hands in a bit closer, but I'll leave my feet where they are. This is gonna be our first slight progression. So we'll go slightly narrower than shoulder width, hands wide, a bit more tricep work. We're still aiming for that full range. So you're better off doing a full range of an easier option than trying to just jump to the hardest one and doing only a part movement. Two rounds, one minute to go, then we're done. Let's go, same position with the hands, slightly closer with the feet. Drive down, right to the top, drag the nose to the floor, push right up. Big breath out, push to the top, great job. One more. I'm starting to burn out now, so I'm gonna to return to my first position. And I'm gonna smash out as many reps as I can to finish off. Shake out the arms. Here we go. Feet wide, down, up. Straight into the next rep each time. Last set, and we're done. Whew. There we go. There you have it. That is it. You can give a quick wipe down, grab some water. That is us done. Awesome work. So you can see there, eight minutes, there's your base camp daily session done and dusted. So again, that's our zoo movement. It's our primal movements, getting the body to move in its most natural way and in the most, most full range of motion. Quick recap, Tabata 2010. Exercise one, kick sits. Exercise two, push to gorilla. Exercise three, frog squats and exercise four was our Hindu push-ups. All of those four, you can either incorporate in that circuit style, which you've just done with me then, or you can throw those in at the end of your normal strength sessions to work the body in a slightly different way. Otherwise, comment below. I wanna know how you found it. Post it on, on um, your socials, hashtag Basecamp Daily, and let us know if you have any requests or anything you'd like us to cover moving forward. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm Mitch. Thank you for joining me for our session.